Hello, my friends. It's me again, Dr. Nitro and 8 Bomb Custom Guitar Workshop. This video is translated as usual, так что если хотите смотреть этот видос на русском, кликайте сюда. And today's topic of this video is a, a work on bugs on the project that I made in 2015. I was doing a relic of a telly for one of my good friends, a very famous musician here in Belarus, Igor Varashkevich. This American telecaster was covered with nitro varnish at the factory, so-called thin skin. But when I was working on it, I got a clear impression that it's not a nitrocellulose, but a simple soft polyurethane varnish. It was a pain in the ass when I was trying to crack it. It was too soft and I even had to use a fire extinguisher to freeze it and to get a kind of a crackler. This time Igor brought me this telecaster and told me about his suspicions that this soft varnish negatively impacts the guitar sound. The guitar has to sound great, it's made of proper light ash, two pieces from one slab with a, with a little offset. So it's like a one piece body, you won't even notice a splice. And so there are suspicions that this varnish spoils everything. That's why we decided to refinish this body with a very thin layer of my nitro varnish, without a filler so that pores are seen. We also decided to leave that color and to do some work on bugs on the neck. The last time I was not so accurate enough in making scuffs from fingers under the strings, so this time I will correct it. And we will also see how this notorious thin skin nitro varnish from Fender looks like. Yeah, and one more thing that I will add to this project is a PAF humbucker. I will need to change a miling for sure, but there won't be a lot and it will not impact the sound. So, let's go! Here is this Telecaster after five years of playing it. Almost nothing has changed in its look of these years. Possibly a little more scuffs, a little more natural relic, but generally the varnish looks the same as five years ago. That clearly shows that the varnish is soft enough and didn't change in any way with time. You can see that small cracks are chaotically placed. This crackler net appears after sharp varnished freezing with compressed CO2. I didn't like this part from the very beginning, so I'll try to correct it somehow. It depends on how this pigment will wash away from the wood pores. To begin with, I need to remove everything.
And now I will remove the varnish, but not with the acetone that I used in my previous videos, but with a heat gun. Nitrocellulose varnish softens quite good after heating, and I can easily remove it together with the primary layer, straight to the wood. The varnish is removed easily, and you can see how soft it is. No wonder I thought it could be a polyurethane varnish. But it turned out to be a nitrocellulose. Well, I roughly removed the varnish. Now I will sand the whole surface so that it becomes flat with no chips and dents. After sanding machine I will do it manually. As I'm going to replace frets, I remove old ones. Factory plastic nut will also be replaced. The frets are now removed, I will sand the next surface a bit, and then I will remove the soft factory varnish with the help of solvent. This time it's an acetone again. So the neck is ready for installing new frets. And we return to the body. The first primary layer is semi-transparent white nitrocellulose varnish. It's a basis. Then I apply layers of amber varnish that will turn into butterscotch. I'm doing it by applying several thin coats, gradually gaining the necessary tone and color intensity. Now it's time for an intermediate sanding to get rid of shark skin.
It looks like it's ready. Next, I apply finishing layers of transparent varnish. Now, when finishing layers dried enough, I sand them with wet sandpaper. 1000 grit. In order to install a humbucker, I'll make a new pick guard. I already have a template. As this template is for a standard Telecaster, another template will be used for a humbucker hole in it. Everything fits perfectly. And now finish polishing. As the guitar cools down, I will wind a humbucker. Now let's have a look at what we've got in my Mega Vintage box. Perfect. Crackalures turned out as I expected. Now I need to highlight them. I use oil paint named Mars Brown Dark Transparent for this purpose and dilute it with turpentine. It will help liquefied paint to get inside the Crackalure and make it more contrast. Now let's build this new pickup. As this is a copy of a vintage PAF pickup, it will not be potted with box. Now it's ready. I need just to sign it. Next, I install all metallic parts and assemble a Telecaster body. A short test, if everything is soldered right. 
Everything works as it should. Now let's start relicking a neck. It's now with new threads and several layers of amber varnish. I'll make a small sketch just not to get confused like during the last time. At first I use a scraper to remove the varnish at the right places where fingers do this job. Now I need to smooth out these scratches. I use graphite to make naked wood a bit darker. Then I polish it. Extra varnish will go away. And extra coloring of the wood will do the same. The back of the neck is not covered with varnish, but with oil, so I can also polish it. Now I will tone a visible part of the neck. I use Mars Brown Dark and Indian Yellow paint. This color is amazing, it's super yellow and very transparent. It's important to make these areas near threads darker than between threads. After several cycles of finishing, I get a pleasant result. Well, I do like it. I believe this time I did it better than ever. I'll make a sign here about her finish. The year of her finish and a master. I always do it. And let's construct this telecaster.
personally, I am very satisfied with the result. I got what I wanted at the beginning. Regarding the voice, yes, I feel that this guitar became more alive, more open, and it began to respond to the string's resonance faster. We'll see the owner's impressions. My friends, if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, comment everything you think about Relic, about making Relic, and everything you see on this guitar. Subscribe to my channel, press a bell and you will always stay tuned to new videos with lots of interesting stuff. And I say goodbye, it was Dr. Nitro, rock and roll for all.